You've probably heard about Thai women, but what about their Vietnamese neighbors? If you're thinking about retiring in Vietnam, understanding the local women is crucial. Let's talk about what Vietnamese women are really like. And trust me, it might surprise you. Now, you might have some ideas about Vietnamese women from movies or what your mates have told you. But the real story? It's a bit different. These ladies aren't just pretty faces in AO dye dresses. They're smart, hardworking, and they know what they want in life. You see, if you're planning to settle down in Vietnam, knowing what these women are about is key. It's not just about finding a girlfriend or a wife. It's about understanding a whole different way of life. And let me tell you, there's more to Vietnamese women than meets the eye. So stick around because we're going to break down some myths and give you the real scoop on what Vietnamese women are like. Now, you might be wondering what makes Vietnamese women tick? What's behind those smiles you'll see on the streets of Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City? Well, let me tell you, it's not just for show. Vietnamese women, they've got this warmth about them. It's not fake, not put on for tourists. It's just who they are. You walk down the street and you'll see genuine smiles. They're friendly, you know, easy to get along with. It's like they've got this personal charm that just draws you in. But don't think for a second that this friendliness means they're pushovers. No, sir. These ladies have a strong sense of self-respect. They're humble, sure, but they know their worth. It's a kind of quiet confidence. They're not going to shout about how great they are, but they don't need to. Now, here's something that might surprise you. Vietnam's got one of the highest rates of women in the workforce in all of Asia. We're talking over 26 million women working. That's nearly half the total workforce. What does that tell you? These women, they've got a work ethic that would put most of us to shame. But it's not all about work. Vietnamese women, they've got this balance. They're not stuck in the past, but they're not throwing away their traditions either. They value their education, their careers, but family, that's still number one. You know, the average age for a Vietnamese woman to get married is about 22. And divorce rates? Pretty low compared to a lot of other places. What that means is when a Vietnamese woman commits, she commits. She's in it for the long haul. And get this, about 94% of women in Vietnam can read and write. That's a pretty impressive number. It shows you how much they value learning, knowledge. Now you might be thinking, okay, so they're smart, hardworking, family-oriented. What's the catch? Well, there isn't one. This is just who they are. It's part of their culture, their upbringing. In day-to-day -day life, you'll see these traits play out in all sorts of ways. That work ethic? It means they're always looking to better themselves, their situations the family focus. It translates into strong, supportive relationships and that balance between modern and traditional. You'll see it in how they dress, how they approach problems, how they interact with others. In relationships, these traits can be a real blessing. You've got a partner who's supportive, committed, and always striving to improve. But remember, they'll expect the same from you. It's a two-way street. So there you have it. That's the heart of Vietnamese charm. It's not just about looking pretty in an I.O. die. It's about substance, character. These women, they've got depth. They're the real deal. And if you're thinking about settling down in Vietnam, understanding this is key. Because when you get to know a Vietnamese woman, you're not just getting to know an individual. You're getting to know a culture, a way of life. And let me tell you, it's a pretty amazing one. So we've talked about what Vietnamese women are like, but what about when it comes to love and relationships? You might be wondering if they're open to dating foreigners like you. Well, I've got some good news for you. Vietnamese women, they're generally pretty open to relationships with foreign men. They see it as a mix of their traditional values and modern goals. It's not just about finding a foreign boyfriend for them. These ladies, they're looking for loyalty, respect and real commitment. And let me tell you, they give it right back. They're supportive partners sticking with you through thick and thin. Now here's something interesting. In Vietnam, women usually get married around 22 years old. And get this, the average woman has about three kids. That's quite different from what you might be used to back home, right? But here's the thing. These women, they're not just looking for a fling. Most of them want something that's going to last. You know how I know? The divorce rate in Vietnam is pretty low. When a Vietnamese woman commits to a relationship, she's in it for the long haul. Now let's talk about family. In Vietnam, family isn't just important, it's everything. It affects how these women make decisions, even when it comes to relationships. You might be thinking, Okay, but what does that mean for me if I'm dating a Vietnamese woman? Well, it means you're not just dating her, you're kind of dating her family too. These women, they're trying to balance what they want with what their families expect. And let me tell you, getting the family's approval, that can be a big deal. It's not like back home where you might introduce your partner to your parents after a few months. Here, family opinion can make or break a relationship. 
But don't let that scare you off. Many Vietnamese women are open to casual dating too. They're not all looking to get married right away. But even if it starts casual, a lot of them are hoping it might turn into something more serious down the line. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Dating someone from a different culture, it can be tricky sometimes. You might have different ideas about things, different ways of doing stuff. But here's the secret. It's all about talking it out. If you're both willing to learn from each other, to really listen and understand, you can make it work. So there you have it. Vietnamese women, they're open to dating foreigners. They value long-lasting relationships and family is super important to them. It might be different from what you're used to. But if you're willing to understand and respect their culture, you might just find something really special here in Vietnam. So we've also talked about what Vietnamese women are like and how they approach relationships. But now let's get into the nitty gritty. How do you actually win a Vietnamese woman's heart? It's not as simple as you might think. There are some cultural nuances you need to know about. First off, let's talk about communication. You know how back home people tend to say what they mean? Well, in Vietnam, it's a bit different. Vietnamese women, they tend to be more indirect in how they communicate. They might not always say exactly what they're thinking. It's not that they're trying to trick you or anything. It's just their way. So you've got to learn to read between the lines a bit. Now here's something that might surprise you. Public displays of affection? Not really a thing in Vietnam. You know how in some places you see couples kissing and hugging in public? Yeah, that's not gonna fly here. Vietnamese culture is pretty conservative when it comes to that stuff. So if you're dating a Vietnamese woman, you've got to take things slow. Don't rush into the physical stuff, especially not in public. Gift giving, now that's important. Vietnamese women, they appreciate the little things. You don't have to go big or expensive. Simple gestures can mean a lot. Opening doors for her, pulling out her chair, that kind of thing. It shows you're a gentleman, you know? Vietnamese women, they like a bit of romance and chivalry. But here's the thing. If you really want to make a good impression, you've got to show some respect for their culture. Learn a few basic Vietnamese phrases. It doesn't have to be much. Just enough to show you're making an effort. Trust me, it goes a long way. And speaking of culture, try to get involved in some cultural events. Vietnam's got loads of festivals and traditions. If you show interest in these things, it'll mean a lot to her. It shows you're not just interested in her, but in her culture too. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Dating someone from a different culture, it can be tricky. You might have some misunderstandings, some moments where you're not quite on the same page. But here's the secret. It's all about patience and respect. You've got to be willing to learn, to understand things from her perspective. Remember, these women aren't just looking for a foreign boyfriend. They want someone who's going to respect them, respect their culture, someone who's in it for the long haul. So if you're thinking about dating a Vietnamese woman, you've got to be prepared to put in the effort. It's not just about taking her out to nice places or buying her gifts. It's about showing genuine interest in her life, her family, her culture. It's about being patient when there are misunderstandings. It's about being willing to learn and adapt. So there you have it, the keys to winning a Vietnamese woman's heart. It's not always easy, but let me tell you, it can be worth it. These women, they've got a lot to offer. If you're willing to put in the effort to really understand and respect their culture, you might just find something really special here in Vietnam. All right, so we've talked about Vietnamese women, but let's get real for a minute. You might have some ideas in your head about what they're like. Maybe you think they're all submissive or just looking for a foreign husband. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not the whole story. These women, they're not all cut from the same cloth. You've got career women, stay-at-home moms, and everything in between. Some are traditional, others are modern. The thing is, they're individuals, just like women anywhere else. You know, a lot of these women are pretty independent. They're not sitting around waiting for a man to take care of them. Many are out there, working hard, building careers. They're resilient, ambitious. But at the same time, they value their families, their relationships. It's like they've found this balance between old and new. Now, before you go, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. And hey, check out our recent video, don't go to Cancun or Hawaii anymore. Come here instead. Trust me, you won't want to miss it.